skydivers. One. Harry and Beth live on an airfield off the main highway. The turning is opposite a Texaco station. Look out for a sign that says, sport parachuting every Saturday and Sunday. Turn here. Underneath is another sign, re-elect Ireland. Susie drives to the airfield looking for Frankie. Beth says that they had to fire Frankie for showing up drunk to work. Susie's hoop earrings swing in the breeze. Beth thinks Susie has come out to the airfield to see Harry. Caught between a picket fence and a field of white planes, Beth and Harry stare at each other. There's a pot of coffee on the stove for you, Harry, Beth says. Pete drives out to the airfield. He wants to make a free fall jump. Beth says no, but then says OK. Her hairstyle looks different in nearly every shot, even though she wears the same coveralls. Pete does a solo jump. He throws himself out of the plane, falling towards the desert. The wind whistling around him, the world tilting on its side. Pete looks happy. Beth smiles up at him, smoking a cigarette, as if she had just experienced love for the very first time. Even the plane looks happy. It's summer. Susie and Harry go to the beach together. A drunk lurches across the sand. Susie and Harry kiss. They look sad and unhappy. Susie drives off in her white convertible. The camera has only one position. People move in and out of the frame. Beth sets the table for dinner. She sits down. Her chair creaks. She sips her coffee. Harry reads a letter from his old army buddy, Joe. Harry, what's happened to us? asks Beth. Harry, is it Susie? Harry goes outside and has a fist fight with Frankie by one of the planes. It lasts a long time. Three skydivers jump out of a plane and fall to earth. A man watches, noisily eating an apple. Two. People come out to the airfield to watch the skydivers jump. The camera catches white parachute silk curling gently towards the grassy field. Harry's old army buddy, Joe, shows up. He walks into one of the hangars and stands directly in front of Beth. I know you, he says. Beth suddenly recognises him. How about some coffee, Beth suggests. Coffee, Joe replies. I like coffee. They go outside. I like this place, he says. We like it, Beth replies. Weren't you saying something about some coffee? Joe asks. It's the best scene in the entire movie. Harry joins them. Joe tells Harry that Beth offered him some coffee. Sounds good, Harry says. Let's have a cup. Pete jumps again. He goes into freefall, but doesn't release his parachute. He's still falling when he hits the ground. Beth is distraught. They leave his body lying where it fell. Three. The airfield is closed following Pete's death. Harry drives over to the skydiver bar to drink beer and listen to the jukebox. Susie waits for him in the parking lot. She checks her lipstick in the rearview mirror of her white convertible. Susie and Harry have a fight. 
She slaps his face. He pushes her against the door of her convertible. Parked behind them is a white van covered with fluttering hearts. Love's Pit Barbecues, it says on the side panel. All meats, wood cooked. Susie persuades Frankie to kill Harry by pouring acid over his parachute. Frankie has Susie's name tattooed inside a heart on his left bicep. Kiss me, Frankie, Susie says to him in the moonlight. I mean, really kiss me, Frankie. They drive together in Susie's white convertible to get some acid. Stand by for the nine o'clock news, a voice announces on the car radio. Joe kisses Beth as she is climbing down a stepladder. Harry doesn't like Joe hanging around Beth. He gets angry with Joe. Come on, guys, says one of the skydivers. Let's have a cup of coffee. Cut to Beth pouring Joe and herself a cup of coffee. Neither of them speaks. Beth says that she loves Harry. Joe asks Beth if she wants him to leave. Beth says no. Smoke rises silently from her cigarette. They decide to remain friends. Things are always slightly misplaced. People are hollow, floating between boredom and violence. The airfield reopens with a big dance party. Cool it, Pop, a young girl says. Beth and Harry sit across from each other at the dining table. Harry doesn't want to go to the party. Put your arms around me and kiss me, Harry, Beth says. Harry kisses Beth. Her chair creaks loudly. Joe sees them kissing. Susie and Frankie hang around the edge of the dance party, dressed in black. They sneak into the hangar and pour acid onto Harry's parachute. Everybody is watching a girl in a short skirt dancing on roller skates when the jump is announced. The people smile and wave as the plane takes off. The acid has eaten holes in Harry's parachute. The skydivers jump into the night. Harry plummets to his death. A woman says she saw Susie and Frankie leaving the hangar. She killed him, she adds. Men in cars and a plane chase Susie and Frankie through the desert. They gun Susie and Frankie down. The heavens open up. We see the rain falling on their dead faces. <laughs> 